God is saying to you today, my child, in the tapestry of existence, where threads of destiny intertwine, there are moments that stand as a testament to the divine orchestration of our lives. Imagine, if you will, a scene where two souls, having traversed lifetimes, find themselves standing at the precipice of eternity. This moment is not merely a convergence of chance or circumstance, it is a sacred dance choreographed by the universe itself. When someone declares their intention to marry you, it's not just a casual decision made on a whim. No, it's a proclamation that echoes through the corridors of time, reverberating with the resonance of souls recognizing each other across lifetimes. It's as though their heart whispers to yours, saying, Here you are, my long-awaited companion, my kindred spirit, my divine counterpart, like this video and share to loved ones, in such a declaration, there is a solemnity that transcends the mundane realm of human affairs. It's not just about signing contracts or exchanging vows, it's about bearing witness to the sacred covenant between two souls who have found solace and sanctuary in each other's embrace. It's about recognizing that this union is ordained by forces far greater than ourselves, a cosmic alignment of destinies guided by the hand of the divine, for when the soul recognizes its perfect match, there is an undeniable knowingness that permeates every fiber of our being. It's as though we've finally found the missing piece of the puzzle, the one that completes us in ways we never thought possible. And in that recognition, there is a sense of peace, a sense of belonging, a sense of coming home. But what does it mean to experience a spiritual awakening within the context of such a profound union? It means recognizing that love is not just a fleeting emotion or a passing fancy, it's a divine force that binds us together inextricably. It means understanding that our journey together is not just about the destination, but the sacred path we walk hand in hand, navigating the highs and lows of life's ever unfolding tapestry. In the crucible of love, we are transformed, reborn anew, emerging from the ashes of our former selves like the phoenix rising from the flames. We shed the layers of ego and pretense, bearing our souls to each other in vulnerability and authenticity. We learn to see ourselves reflected in the mirror of our beloved's eyes, finding beauty in our flaws and perfection in our imperfections, and as we journey deeper into the heart of love, we discover that it's not just about finding happiness, it's about becoming vessels of love itself. We learn to pour forth our love like a never-ending stream, irrigating the barren landscapes of our world with compassion, kindness, and understanding. We become beacons of light in a world shrouded in darkness, illuminating the path for others to follow in our footsteps, but perhaps the greatest gift of all is the realization that love is not confined to the realm of romantic relationships. It's a force that permeates every aspect of our lives, infusing our interactions with family, friends, and even strangers with grace and beauty. It's a reminder that we are all interconnected, all part of the same cosmic tapestry, woven together in a symphony of love and light, so, dear souls. As you embark on this sacred journey together, remember that you are not alone. You are supported by the love of the universe itself, cradled in the arms of the divine. And as you walk hand in hand, know that your love has the power to heal, to uplift, 
and to transform not only yourselves but the world around you. For in the end, love is the greatest gift we can give, and the greatest legacy we can leave behind, as you stand on the threshold of this profound spiritual union, let your hearts be filled with gratitude for the divine guidance that has led you to this moment. Reflect on the journey that has brought you together, the twists and turns, the joys and sorrows, the moments of doubt and the moments of clarity. For each step has been a sacred pilgrimage, leading you ever closer to the realization of your true selves, in the sanctity of your love, may you find the courage to embrace the fullness of who you are, to celebrate your strengths and accept your weaknesses with humility and grace. Remember that true love does not seek to change or control, but rather to honor and uplift, allowing each soul to blossom in its own unique way, and as you exchange vows of commitment and devotion, let them be more than just words spoken in ceremony, let them be sacred promises whispered from the depths of your souls. Promise to stand by each other through all of life's trials and tribulations, to support and encourage each other in times of need, and to celebrate each other's victories with boundless joy and enthusiasm, but above all, promise to love each other fiercely and unconditionally, to see the divinity shining within each other's eyes and to cherish it with every breath you take. For love is not just a noun, it's a verb, a daily practice of kindness, compassion, and forgiveness that sustains and nourishes the soul, and so, dear souls, as you embark on this sacred journey together, know that you are surrounded by the love and blessings of all who have come before you, ancestors, guides, and guardian angels who walk beside you every step of the way. Trust in the wisdom of your hearts, and let love be your guiding light through the darkest of nights and the brightest of days, for in the end, it is love that heals all wounds, bridges all divides and unites us in a bond that transcends time and space. So, go forth with open hearts and open minds, knowing that you are truly blessed to have found each other in this vast and wondrous universe. May your love shine as a beacon of hope and inspiration to all who cross your path, reminding them of the power of love to transform lives and illuminate the way home. Amen. I want to end with a prayer, dear Lord, in this moment of quiet contemplation, we humbly bow our heads before your infinite presence. We come before you with hearts full of gratitude for the countless blessings you have bestowed upon us, for the gift of life itself, for the love that surrounds us, and for the opportunity to grow and evolve on our spiritual journey. As we offer this prayer, we ask for your guidance and wisdom to light our path. Grant us the strength to navigate the challenges that lie ahead with courage and grace. Knowing that you are always by our side, guiding us with your gentle hand, we pray for healing, healing for ourselves, for our loved ones, and for all beings who are suffering in mind, body, or spirit. May your divine light shine upon them, bringing comfort, solace, and renewal to their weary souls. We pray for peace, peace within our hearts, peace within our communities, and peace within the world. Help us to see beyond our differences and to embrace the inherent unity that binds us all together as children of the same divine source. We pray for love, love that transcends boundaries, love that knows no limits, love that flows freely from our hearts to all living beings. Teach us to love unconditionally, 
to forgive without hesitation, and to offer compassion to those in need. And finally, we pray for gratitude, gratitude for the blessings of each new day, for the lessons learned through both joy and sorrow, and for the opportunity to serve as vessels of your divine love in the world. May this prayer rise like incense to the heavens, carrying with it the hopes and dreams of all who utter its words. And may we be ever mindful of the sacred interconnectedness of all life, bound together in love and light for all eternity. Amen. Type 444 to claim this message. If these words resonate with your soul, I invite you to join us on our mission of spreading love, inspiration, and positivity to all. Together, let's journey toward a brighter tomorrow, fueled by the grace of the divine. Thank you for being a part of our journey. Another important divine message, straight from the heart of God, awaits you in the next video.